What's the difference between flat tappet and roller camshafts? Here's what you need to know about flat tappet camshafts. The lifter, aka the tappet, it's actually not flat. It is a convex shape. It's hard to see and it's very small, but if it was concaved or flat, it wouldn't work. The lobe itself actually has a taper on it. It's smaller at the front and taller at the back by roughly two thousandths is a very average amount of taper. And the reason for all that is the lifter spins on the lobe. And if it doesn't spin, it will go flat, meaning it doesn't lift the valve anymore. As it spins, it pushes the camshaft back and offsets the load from the distributor pushing the camshaft forward. And so you don't have to have anything to keep the camshaft in place. The lifters do that for you. A look at a flat tappet in motion. The lifter, as it comes up the lobe, it rides right on the edge of the lifter. All while the lifter has to spin the entire time so that it keeps lubricity and doesn't flatten the camshaft not having enough lift, causing a lot of valve train damage. Because of how flat tappets work, they require more attention during the break-in cycle. Roller camshafts, roller lifters, the main difference is a roller lifter has a rolling wheel on the end of it. The benefit is they don't require special oils, break-in procedures, they're tied together so that they don't spin in the engine. Flat tappet cam, we talked about how the taper pushes the camshaft backwards. A roller doesn't have that benefit. So to keep the camshaft from moving forward, you need to run a button in the front of the camshaft that presses against the timing cover or a thrust plate to hold the camshaft in place. A roller camshaft in motion, you can see that the roller rolls up the side of the lobe over the nose and rolls back down the back side of the cam, allowing us to have a much more aggressive profile, making more power with less friction. So with the added benefits of performance and longevity of a roller camshaft, why not always run one? Well, the biggest thing is price. A roller the camshaft is going to be more expensive. The lifters are substantially more expensive. Valve springs, the whole valve train component keeps adding up to be a more expensive option. The other reason is rules. A lot of circle track sanctioning bodies still require you run a flat tabbit camshaft and we have to play by the rules.